So Merlin, what was your relationship to Lance? Uh, I worked with Lance's wife, Margo. She and I were much closer. He seemed very nice and accommodating, let us stay in his home, but he acted distant. And have you ever dealt with the secret of being Theoban's father? Did Margo want to keep the secret hidden, or were you planning on ever telling Theoban? I've tried to pretend that Lance is your father. It's hard not being able to see her, but it was a mistake that Margo and I had to deal with. It would have made things too complicated. We both wanted to keep it a secret. It was harder for Margo to lie since she saw Lance more than I did, but their relationship wasn't doing so well. He didn't take care of her like a real man should. Does anybody know about your affair with Margo? Not that I know of. Uh, we tried to keep it a secret as much as possible. How did you feel when she told you about Jacoby? I was upset. I mean, I guess I figured if a younger, better-looking guy came along, she might go off with him. She liked the attention, and he gave it to her. Giving her a role in her movie must have sealed the deal. In retrospect, did you find it odd that Lance told you to leave before all the others? I didn't think too much about it. I just wanted to get out before the hurricane hit. In retrospect, I'm glad I didn't question him, but I wish I could have brought Margo with me. What is your relationship to Lance? My sister and I work for Mr. Lamar. I helped guide tours of Belle Isle and obliged any demands that Mr. Lamar asked. <laughs> did you notice any strange behavior? Oh, uh, well, he did ask me to do some odd jobs for him. Like, like what? Like he asked me to spy on his wife and his kids and the film crew at the hotel. And then he asked me to put audio and video equipment into the rooms in the house. And did you find this bizarre? Kind of, but this is, Mr. Lamar can act strangely when he drinks. So. Did you feel wrong carrying out his requests? I definitely had second thoughts. And I thought it was strange, but he seemed to have good intentions. So. Did you watch the tape? Uh, I did glance at the video, but I figured what Mr. Lance wants to do in his personal life, that's his business. Did you suspect foul play after he gave you $75,000 to finish schooling and move away? I was really unsure why Mr. Lamar was so urgent to give me the money and send me away. I really had no idea what was going on at that point, so I just took the money and left. And what about after the fire? The succession of events made me believe so. What have you done with the money you inherited? Well, I took some of it and went to school, bought a house in Wooddale for Elko and I, and I took goldfish, Bob and Peter. Well, it sounds like you're doing very well for yourself. Yes, I am. Thank you. Do you know anything about the guy in the next room? Well, he knocks on my wall a lot. I have no idea what he's trying to communicate with me. It's really annoying, especially when I'm trying to sleep. Have you ever talked to him in person? Well, he came over to my room once. He kept talking about how we would go away together. I didn't even know the guy. He sounded really delusional. I don't know why he thought I would. It's not like I gave him any attention. So you would never consider going away with him after you leave here? Of course not. I didn't know anything about him, and he creeped me out with all that knocking. It just made me crazy. He never seemed to give up. I don't know what his problem was. What is your relationship to Lance? Lance is my father, who is married to my mom. And when she passed, he then married Margot and had Theoban, which is my half-sister. Did you notice him behaving strangely or acting differently around the time of the fire, just before the fire occurred? Um, not a few days before the fire, but the day or the night of the fire, he was acting a little strange. He um, hurried me out of the house and back to college and just wanted me to leave right away, which was very odd of him, because he usually not in a hurry like that. 
Do you believe he could have started the fire? What could his motives have been if he had? Honestly, I don't think he could have started the fire just because he's a very um, out of like not into the whole crowd and he's doing his own thing. And if he did have a motive, it had to be something very important for him to create that fire and he was the one that did it. And have you had any contact with him since? Um, sadly, no, I haven't even seen him ever since then, ever since that night that the fire happened. relationship to Lance? We were in the same frat, more like associates. He was in a football and partying. Um, I like to be by myself and was more introspective. Were you as close to him as he led us to believe? Not really. We bumped into each other occasionally in a casual conversations. A lot of what he said about our relationship was fabricated. Do you believe his accounts of what happened? I have some serious doubts. I didn't know if what he was saying was real or not. He didn't seem consistent nor organized in telling me his story. What do you think his rationale could have been for killing Margot, Jacoby, and the others? I think he felt slighted by Margot's affairs and by the knowledge that he had not been his daughter's biological father. He felt emasculated and embarrassed. At least that was the impression I got. In the end, though, he didn't seem satisfied or any happier. How often did you visit Lance? Honestly, I probably went to visit him twice at most. I think he exaggerated the amount of times I went to see him. How close were you to Lance? We were rather close for the past two years, but when the movie was being filmed, he seemed kind of distant. But he really wasn't that much of an emotional person, so I couldn't really tell why. And did you feel close to Merlin at all? Um, he seemed a bit odd around me. He was really close with my mom, but I really didn't know that much about him. Do you know why Lance sent you to Odessa with Tex? Tex said it was because he wanted to visit his parents, but I really didn't understand why Dad would let us take a road trip together. He would have never allowed us to do that unless it was really important. And, uh, how did that work out? God, he was so annoying. The entire time we played all these card games and it just got really old fast. I'm not even sure if I really liked Odessa. It just didn't feel like home to me. How did you find out about the fire, and do you know where Lance is right now? Well, I saw it on the news. The house was blown up, and they took my dad to the hospital. Then Lucy told me they eventually put him in an institution. I think losing my mom made him crazy. Um, see, about what I'm going to ask you next might be kind of upsetting, but I have to know, um, were you aware that Lance was not, in fact, your biological father? What? What? Come on. Did you get that? <laughs>